Our reading this afternoon comes from Psalm 103. The Lord is full of compassion and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbour his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows of what we are formed, he remembers we are dust. The life of mortals is like grass, they flourish like the flower of the field. The wind blows over it and it is gone and its place remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him, and his righteousness with their children's children, with those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts. As we gather this afternoon, we're only too well aware of the truth of these words of King David. Life is fragile and is precious, just as a flower grows and blossoms and flourishes, but then withers and dies. So human life is all too short. David himself knew this. After just seven days of illness, one of his own children, still a young baby, died. The Bible tells us that David pleaded with God for his son to be healed, but it wasn't to be. He flourished like the flower of the field, for just a few days and was gone. Yet David talks of God's compassion and his grace and his love in this psalm. Unlike us mere mortals who can be all too quick to judge, to run out of patience and lose our temper, to want to get our own back, to make, want to make people pay for what they've done to us, God is different. He's slow to anger. He doesn't treat us as our sins deserve, we're told in this psalm. Through Jesus' death and resurrection, we can be forgiven. He doesn't treat us according to our iniquities, according to our sins. He doesn't pay us for our wrongdoings, David says. In fact, he adopts those who fear him, those who follow Jesus, into his family as their children. The Apostle John writes to the church, saying to all who receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gives the right to become children of God. Like a father who looks at his child who's done wrong and yet forgives. So God is compassionate to us. He loves us and cares for us and he watches over all those who love him. Let's bow our heads and let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your compassion, for your grace, and for your love to us. Lord, we thank you that you don't treat us as we deserve. We thank you that you forgive all who turn to you. Be with us and watch over us, that we would know your comfort at this time. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, friends, in a few moments' time, I'm going to read out the list of names of people we remember this afternoon. There'll then be a pause, and if you would like to call out any names or just name them in your mind, you'd be very welcome to do that. And then there'll be a short time for reflection. So, let's bow our heads and pray. Lord, we thank you for those whom we love but no longer see. We thank you for the place they have in our hearts, for the memories that we treasure, and for the opportunity to remember them today. In particular, we remember Eric Abbey, Wynne Abbey, Edith Anderson, George Anderson, Hugh Baddeley, Sandra Bolden, Julia Childs, Kenneth Childs, Lionel Childs, Ian Collier, 
Nelly Collier, John Cousins, Prue Craythorn, Alan Crockford, Isabel Crockford, Alan Davidson, Jean Davidson, Joan Efford, Ron Efford, Ivy Feasy, Doreen Fewings, John Grant, Ruby Griffin, Susan Hampshire, Peter Harbour, Ginny Hill, Carl Knight, Keith Alexander Lawrence, Charlie McLeod, Jerry McCritchie, Michael John Marshall, Chrissy Matthews, Elliot Moody, Dr. Glendor Prosser, Kathleen Prosser, Matthew Raynham, Michael Robbins, Dennis Sanderson, Reg Scurry, Ernie Shepherd, Gladys Shepherd, Margaret Sherlock, Patsy Sherlock, Peggy Smith, Stan Smith, Rebecca Mary Scott, Richard Stanley Tooby, Lynette Turberville Smith, Joyce Underwood, Susan Underwood, Sue Van Dissel, Hal Watt, Temper Watt, and Ian Wyness. Most merciful God, surround us with your love and strengthen us to meet the days to come. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, in a few moments' time we're going to turn to prayer, but before we do that we're going to have another song, another hymn. Uh, this song, this hymn is a prayer. It's a prayer that whatever we go through in life, God would be with us and that God would be the one we look to you. We're going to sing be thou my vision. <laughs> 